Hey guys, I am directing it with thanks for stopping by and checking out this week's video. So this past week has been um, fairly calm. I had therapy on Monday, which we did a video visit, and my next few visits are going to be video visits for a while. Um, and then I went to the dentist on Thursday, got my cleaning up, my exam done. So now I've got two crowns left, and then I'm caught up on having my teeth fixed. So, but I have spent some time at home, um, play, you know, playing with yarn. I've got two hats that I made. This is using a pattern from, um, Bagot de Crochet, her basic um, beginner beanie. So I did that. Um, actually, no, it's not that one. It is this one. Um, it was the basic beginner beanie. So this is all done in half double crochets. And then This one I don't remember making, but um, I know I made it because I know this yarn. Um, I just, my memory, short term memory is wonky. But it's all in double crochets. So, cat, get out of stuff. So, those are the only things that I've actually completed this week, but I have worked on um, quite a few projects. I'm working with the La Perla yarn that I got when I was in Mexico a couple years ago, and I it's cotton and it's mer, uh, mercerized cotton, but I'm making a washcloth out of it, He's knitting with two with two strands at once. So it's pink and blue mixed together. So we're almost done with that one, and I'll probably make a couple more once I'm done. And then let's see. Oh, the cable knit blanket. The, it's called it's the granite cable blanket, but I'm having fun with it. Um, and the cables and everything. So, of course, it takes me a while because you know it's you know to do each row, but I'm having fun with it and it's nice and relaxing. Knitting needle up before I lose it. So that is the granite cable blanket. And then let's see what's in this bag. This is, I think it's the Ka'ana Charlotte. So working it, I'm almost done with the increases because it's been like 80 some odd rows of doing the same thing every row and i'm almost to the point where i get to actually start the pattern so that'll be it that'll be fun to work on and then um, everything's collapsing over here we have the pirate flag blanket which you can't really see i mean you can kind of see the pirate flag in there. I somehow managed to, um, when I was casting on, I cast on two stitches less than what I was supposed to, and I didn't catch it until just a couple rows ago because um, the end of each row, I mean, not counting the, the border edge, but the last chunk of it, you know, it'll be like, you know, 20, you know, knit 20 or something, and I don't, count those I just was going to the end to the last six and then doing the, the border so the pirate flags probably be a little bit wonky but um that'll be fine someone will still enjoy it and it'll keep someone warm and then I'm working on it's um a basic crochet um crew deck sweater that I got uh, the pattern came from I think yarn inspirations. It's a free pattern online. So I'm making it out of this yarn. So this is the back piece. So I've got it done. And 
it is, you know, alternating single and double crochets. So it's pretty mindless and, and it's nice to relax with. Of course, the working on the uh, ribbing always is, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of knitting in the back loop, but that's how you make the ribbing. So I got to do this for, so it's like 31 inches long. That's the project that I've been working on most evenings, just because I can just sit there and zone out while I'm doing it. But um, David came by and picked up the donation box of all the crochet projects that I'd finished and told him that, you know, he could take what he wanted for himself or for friends, family, you know, whatnot, or, and then he's got a friend that runs a charity of some sort. I didn't ask, but she would be happy to have the rest of the donations. So he took the entire box. So I'm done with that. I'm going to start a new box now and I'm just going to probably funnel all my donation stuff through him just because it's easy. He can stop by after work and then take it to where it needs to go. So, but anyway, that's all I've done for this week. Um, I don't have to go anywhere for two weeks and then I have to get up insanely early to catch a bus to take the both cats to the vet for their six month checkup. So I'm not looking forward to that, but you know, I'll survive. So anyway, I will see you guys next week.